How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 14 in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 series. And in this video we're going to be going over how we can use the Lambda Expressions when defining comparators. What's a comparator? Yeah, they're used for sorting and actually we're going to use it in the collections.sort method. So up in our uh, Lambda Expressions project I created this file comparators.java which I imported the ArrayList collections and comparator uh, interfaces slash classes and then in the public s uh, static void main method I created an ArrayList that takes player objects and you'll notice right here in this tab I have this player class which we actually used a couple tutorials back I'm just reusing it and our player class stores a string called first name a string called last name and an integer called number and when um, you know, an instance of the class is printed out. This to string method gets called, which returns a string that contains the last name, comma, first name. And you'll see here I created this array list. Like I said, that it takes player objects. I called it players. And I just imported into that uh, list. I guess added is a better word than importing. Um, three random players Justin Williams, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin. Three of my favorite players, actually, if you're wondering. And then I create a second array list that takes player objects called players2, which is just the first list cloned. And that's all I got so far. And I actually just want to print these out just to show you what shows up right now. So right now the order of our list is just the order in which we imported these players in. And no, there is not six different uh, players in there. Remember that our toString method uh, returns last name, comma, first name. So that's all right. So that's one player, the second player, and then the third player. So both lists print out the exact same thing. And let's go over now how we can use comparators to sort them. First of all, of course, as usual, we're going to be going over the old way of doing such. So we have to create a comparator. And then we have to specify, sorry, compare at or, and then we have to specify what type of objects are being compared. In our case, we're doing player objects. We had to name our comparator, so I'm going to name it C1. We're going to set this equal to a new comparator that takes player objects. Open close uh, parentheses, open close curly braces. And now we have to define a special method. The comparator is a functional interface, and the method that is required to be coded for every created comparator is the compare method. So public int compare and it's going to return some sort of number like I said so we'll just put return one for now just so it doesn't get an error there. And then we are going to finish off the entire thing with a semicolon. In our case here we're going to specify parameters this comparator is going to take two player objects, so we're going to call them player, player uh, p1, and then player p2. So those are our two different uh, player objects that are going to be compared to each other. Now how do we actually compare these? It's quite simple. I want to have these lists sorted by last name. So in our case, uh, Crosby would be first, Malkin second, Williams third. So we're going to do return uh, p1 dot last name dot compare to. And this method is used to compare one string with another string, and an integer gets returned, which is going to be coincidentally the integer that gets returned for our compare method. So p2 dot last name. That's all we're going to do. So p1 dot last name dot compare to and then pass in as the parameter to the compare to method p2 dot last name. Now to actually use this comparator we're going to do collections dot sort and for this we have to pass in a comparator and a list. So the list has to be the same type as the comparator type. So our list takes player objects, our comparator sorts player objects, so we're fine there. So inside our brackets we're going to put uh, players and then comma c1. 
And actually, I'm going to move our print statement from here to down here. All right. And let's run it. So our second list, which is the Lambda one, is still in its original state. But here we now have what we want, so sorted in order by last name. So Crosby, Malkin, then Williams. And that is how you do it the old way. The new way is obviously a lot more concise. We're going to use Lambda expressions to make our comparator. So we're going to create another comparator. Comparator C2. And we're going to set this one equal to a lambda expression. All right, so in the parameters of our lambda expression, we're going to put player P1 and player P2. We then have our arrow token for the lambda expression and then the body. So in this case, P1 dot last name dot compare to p2 dot last name and oops we got an error here oops we didn't specify right here the type of object that was going to go in there all right so that fixes everything i'm going to put the print statement at the bottom once again now to actually do the sorting exact same thing as before so I'm just gonna copy this except for we're going to put in players 2 and C2 alright now let's run this alright I just want to see how long the video was going okay let's run this working fine both work exactly how we wanted them to except for the comparator here took one, two, three, f four or five lines depending on what you count as a line if you count the curly braces or not whereas our comparator here a lot more clean and concise a lot more readable now the Java compiler automatically deduces that you know this lambda expression is the exact same as this so this lambda expression gets typecasted to a comparator and that's why it all works so instead of you know creating a new comparator and defining the public int compare method, we can do this, and this lambda expression will get typecasted to this without us having to code all that. All right, and I already ran it, so that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.